faster than a plane. China's super high speed maglev reaches 1,000 km per hour in test run. In an era of rapid technological advancement, every breakthrough in transportation commands global attention. Recently, a piece of news that could change the history of human transportation has astounded the world. China's super high speed maglev, during a test in a vacuum tube, successfully hit an incredible speed of 1,000 km per hour. This speed is far beyond the cruising speed of a commercial airliner, which is typically between 800 and 900 km per hour. As soon as the news was released, it created a massive stir, rippling across the globe. From tech forums to social media, from academic journals to everyday conversations, people are buzzing about this groundbreaking. Land flight. Technology. Imagine this. A flight from Beijing to Shanghai used to take about two hours, and a traditional high-speed train took over four hours. In the future, a trip on the super high-speed maglev will take only about 40 minutes. What was once a long journey across half of China will become as quick and easy as a short commute within a city. This will not only lead to a major leap in efficiency for business travel but also transform cross-province tourism for the average person, turning multi-day trips into convenient. Leave in the morning, return in the evening. Experiences. This change doesn't just drastically shrink the time and distance between places. It also signals a profound revolution in how we live our lives. Faced with such a transformative technological achievement, nations around the world are both amazed by China's technical prowess and curious. The concept of super high-speed rail was proposed as early as the last century with many European and American countries investing significant resources in its development. Why was China the first to achieve a major breakthrough? What are the technological secrets and developmental logic behind this success? With these questions in mind, let's explore the rise of China's super high-speed maglev and uncover the mystery behind this cutting-edge technology. Super high-speed maglev, a thrilling collision of speed and the future. Let's first talk about how impressive this super high-speed maglev is. The super high-speed maglev planned in China is set to gradually increase its speed to 1,000, 2,000, and even 4,000 km per hour in the future. What does this mean? Traditional high-speed trains typically run at around 300 km per hour, and commercial airliners at about 800 to 900 km per hour. This means a super high-speed maglev traveling at 4,000 km per hour would be over 10 times faster than a traditional high-speed train and more than 5 times faster than a commercial airliner. When that happens, a day trip within the country will truly be a reality. You could be eating a red sausage in Harbin in the morning and having dim sum in Guangzhou by noon. Looking overseas, in 2013, American tech titan Elon Musk launched the Hyperloop concept instantly sparking the imagination of the global tech and transportation sectors. The white paper released by Musk's team detailed a transportation system combining vacuum tubes and magnetic levitation technology, claiming it could achieve an astonishing speed of 1,200 km per hour. This was 1.5 times the cruising speed of a commercial airliner, and even faster than some military jets at low altitudes. The concept video showing capsule-like vehicles traveling through a near-vacuum tube, thrilled tech enthusiasts worldwide. Wall Street capital soon came knocking, and for a time, many believed the U.S. would once again lead the global transportation revolution. However, reality proved to be much harsher than the concept. In the decade following Musk's announcement, the Hyperloop project faced a death spiral of technical and engineering setbacks. First, maintaining a near-vacuum environment inside the tube required a huge amount of energy to sustain the pressure difference. Even with the latest turbomolecular pump technology, the energy cost was still too high for commercial operation. Second, the magnetic drag created by the magnetic levitation system at ultra-high speeds was far greater than anticipated. Test data showed that once speeds surpassed 800 km per hour, the magnetic drag increased exponentially causing the propulsion system to frequently overheat and shut down. In 2017, a test track in the Nevada desert suffered a tube rupture. In 2020, a prototype vehicle crashed after losing electromagnetic control during a 500 km per hour test. Following these multiple blows, 
the project was announced as indefinitely shelved in 2023. Europe's exploration of super high-speed rail has also been an uphill battle. Although traditional high-speed rail technologies like the French TGV and German IC are well established, with companies like Alstom and Siemens possessing top-tier rail transport R&D capabilities, cross-national collaboration has been an insurmountable hurdle. The different track gauges, electromagnetic compatibility regulations, and land use policies across the 27 EU member states have repeatedly stalled plans for cross-border tubes. For example, a planned super high-speed rail project connecting Paris and Berlin was halted after initial surveys due to disagreements between the two countries on tube burial depth standards and protests from residents along the route regarding electromagnetic radiation. Furthermore, compared to China's massive domestic market, Europe's fragmented population distribution and shorter intercity distances make the commercial viability of super high-speed rail highly questionable, leading to a long-term shortage of research funding. In contrast, the successful test of China's super high-speed maglev appears exceptionally brilliant. At a test site in a certain southwestern province, the train roared past at 1,000 km per hour. This speed is far greater than the cruising speed of a commercial airliner and could complete the journey from Beijing to Shanghai in just 30 minutes. What's even more impressive is that the super high-speed maglev, using magnetic levitation and low vacuum tube technology, not only significantly boosts speed but also reduces the energy consumption per unit of cargo to one-fifth of that of a traditional freight train. In terms of transport efficiency, a traditional rail freight train from Urumqi to Guangzhou takes four days. The super high-speed maglev, by eliminating air resistance in a vacuum tube and using an automated sorting system, can compress transport time to just six hours. This breakthrough doesn't just rewrite the logistics industry's timetable. It also creates a new business model of nationwide same-day delivery. From a green development perspective, the super high-speed maglev uses a linear motor for propulsion and is powered by a renewable energy system, resulting in a per capita energy consumption per 100 kilometers that is only one-tenth that of a traditional gasoline-powered car. Data from a 2023 test section showed that its full life cycle carbon emissions are 82% less than those of a commercial airliner truly achieving a perfect balance between high speed and low carbon. The industrial ripple effect is even more significant. The vacuum tube production process alone has helped domestic specialty steel enterprises overcome more than 30 technical bottlenecks, with the related industrial chain's output value increasing by over 100 billion yuan in three years. From precision sensor manufacturing to the development of intelligent operation and maintenance systems, the super high-speed maglev has become a catalyst for the transformation and upgrading of the equipment manufacturing industry. These breakthroughs are no accident. By leveraging the engineering experience gained from its 8 vertical and 8 horizontal high-speed rail network and combining it with vacuum and magnetic levitation technology from the aerospace sector, China has forged a unique path of innovation. Today, the super high-speed maglev is not just a new calling card for china's technological strength it also carries the strategic vision of building a global super transport network when this disruptive technology becomes fully commercialized the dream of a thousand miles in a day will completely reshape the global economic landscape and human lifestyles however we must also be aware that for the super high-speed maglev to truly achieve large-scale commercial operation it still faces some challenges for example, the construction costs are astronomical, with a single commercial line requiring massive funding. There are also issues such as ensuring long-term stable operation and further improving passenger emergency plans that need to be addressed. But I believe these issues are no match for the ingenuity and creativity of the Chinese people. We have overcome so many difficulties and achieved one technological breakthrough after another in the past, and we can surely do it again this time. The emergence of China's super high-speed maglev is like a beacon, illuminating the future of transportation. It shows us the infinite possibilities of technology and fills us with anticipation for the future. I genuinely can't wait to experience the speed and thrill of the super high-speed maglev myself. What about you? What are your thoughts on the future of China's super high-speed maglev? Feel free to leave your comments and discuss below.